You may think that a childhood sunburn is no big deal, just a painful few days and it's all over. But what if I told you that even one blistering sunburn before age 15 could raise your child's lifelong risk of melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer? A brand new study from the National Cancer Institute just confirmed it. The damage done in childhood doesn't stay in childhood. And this isn't about scaring parents. It is about empowering you with science. But first, welcome back. I'm Dr. Maria Azizian, a board-certified general surgeon and an IFM-certified functional medicine physician. On this channel, I share health tips on skin health, food and supplements, functional medicine, surgery, and the latest medical research to help you feel your best. And if that sounds good, please like, share with your friends, and subscribe. So let's talk about this recent study, and I have a link in the description of this video. So this study tracked over 44,000 individuals for decades and found that every additional blistering sunburn in childhood increased melanoma risk by over 3%. And here's what's surprising. It didn't matter if the child had dark hair, brown eyes, or didn't burn easily. The risk was still there. And let's look at what the researchers actually did. They analyzed a massive cohort of non-Hispanic white participants in the U.S. radiologic technologist study, over 342,000 person years of data. And of that group, 290 cases of melanoma were identified. And when they examined participants' histories, a clear pattern emerged. The more blistering sunburns before age 15, the higher the lifetime risk of melanoma. And the risk was independent of UV exposure, eye or hair color, or time spent outdoors. And that means that even dark-haired children or those with hazel or brown eyes were not protected. In fact, actually higher melanoma risk was tied to brown hazel eye color, dark hair color, and light skin complexion. Why does this matter? Well, this is very important because it turns a long-standing belief on its head. We used to think that it's only fair-skinned, light-eyed kids that were at real risk. But this study shows that sun damage in use is dangerous for everyone, regardless of complexion. Why? Because when children's skin gets a blistering burn, it creates a DNA damage, and that can silently linger for decades, waiting to turn into cancer later in life. And remember that melanoma doesn't just affect the elderly. It's now one of the most common cancers in young adults, and we do see that in our clinic. And that brings us to the most important question. What can you do about it? So let's talk action. How do we protect our kids? First of all, sunscreen, and I have a more detailed video about that. Use SPF 30, that's broad spectrum. Apply 15 minutes before going out and reapply every one and a half to two hours, more often if kids are in the water. Next, please invest in protective clothing, long sleeves, wide brim hats, and UV blocking sunglasses. And they're not just for beach days, they're for any time that kids are out in the sun. And also, timing matters. Avoid direct sun, especially during peak hours of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., whenever possible. And finally, lead by example. If your kids see you prioritizing sun safety, well, they'll do the same. However, if your child has had multiple bad burns already, don't panic, not all is lost. I do recommend starting regular skin checks earlier. Be proactive rather than reactive. So here's the takeaway. Sunburns in childhood aren't just a summer nuisance. They are a silent risk factor for skin cancer years later. And let's not wait for a scare to take action. Prevention starts now. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and share this with parents and caregivers. Let's raise awareness because skin cancer is ultimately preventable. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.